Hello guys, my name is Dan and welcome back to another Infinite Flight video. So basically I've seen a few requests in my comments uh, asking for how to land smoothly, what's the best way to land, like how do you land so smoothly etc etc. So I thought I'll take my time out to make a video um, on how to actually land smoothly. So we will be using the A350 today uh, only because um, it's one of the newest aircraft, it's uh, very easy to land. Um, so I would actually recommend trying to land this just because you know the wing flex and and the ground effects and The feel for the aircraft is very realistic So it's not that hard to get used to her as if you're trying to land what is actually a beginner's aircraft a Cessna 172 You'll be having um, you'll be having a difficult time basically so we'll hop on to the final approach um, and we'll basically go from there and you can watch what I do uh, and basically copy everything that I do. I'll run you through everything I'm doing uh, all the way through to the point where we touch the floor and come to a stop. So the easiest way to land, um, in my opinion, and to land smoothly is manual. And it's also to land with the HUD display on uh, because if you were to try and use the instruments in the cockpit, I mean, it's more realistic and it's more professional, but you won't, you, the, the, the chances are of you landing smoothly are a slim compared to, compared to actually using the HUD. As you can see, we're slightly off. So, the key to doing a smooth and perfect landing is you need to execute the perfect speed, you need to be on the glide slope and ensure that the pappies, which are the two lights either on, the, on either the right or the left of the runway, um, the two pappies on uh, the side of the runway uh, are illuminated one red, one white. This basically means you're on the glide slope and you're coming down perfectly uh, on a stable approach uh, and you're not too low or you're not too high. If the pappies on infinite flight are too white, then that means you are too high. Whereas if they're too red, then that means you're too low. So you need to sort of balance it out and find that sort of sweet spot and and come down perfectly, basically. So as you can see, I have my thrust set to 150 knots. That seems to be a good sort of speed for this landing. And I've got a little bit of a crosswind. So as I'm about to touch down, I'm just going to apply a bit of left rudder. As you can see, the pappies are too red. So I need to pull the nose up a little bit. Decrease uh, uh, my, my rate of descent. Uh, glide a little bit until they turn uh, one red, one white. And then I'm going to disengage the auto thrust and then use that manually. Now you want to aim for the aiming point and touchdown zone, which are these lines on the runway. As I get closer, reduce the thrust, flare, bit of rudder, and I'm down. Now that wasn't the ideal landing because the pappies weren't the right colours, um, but that was how to land smoothly I guess. So I'm going to set my speed again to 150 knots, I'm going to find that sweet spot and as you can see the pappies, in fact let me change the time of day quickly to... Um, sunset for example and you should be able to see them much better um, the pappies as you can see are the two lights on the side of the runway and currently I'm on the perfect glide so the little circle which you see on the screen uh, which is towards the, uh, the the closest end of the runway towards us where we'll be landing is where the plane's heading if that makes sense that wherever that is that's where you're gonna go basically and then Obviously, you've got your, your horizon, and then you've got the, the actual, like, pitch of your nose as such, which is this, like, line with a little V in the middle of it. Um, and you want to keep that at about uh, two to three degrees uh, above the horizon. Um, and you just basically want to come down nice and smooth, gentle inputs. And basically, don't shake your device around too much, because that's when you'll start to become unsteady. Your spoilers have to be set. Flaps have to be full. Uh, as you can see, I've just lost the two red, two white. I'm going to pull my nose up a little bit. The trim, some people may ask what the trim is. Basically, the trim is when there's too much back pressure on the aircraft and when you feel like you're pulling backwards too much on your device. If you want to have like less of that strain, um, then simply add some trim and the nose of the plane uh, should become lighter as such. It should feel a bit easier to fly the plane. It will be less of a fight and it should make the landing more smooth. So as you can see, we're coming down, listening to the GPWS callouts. When we get to 20, I'm going to flare. Ten. 
tiniest little bounce there. So now we are in a uh, EasyJet A320, um, and I'm just going to demonstrate another landing with this aircraft. So we're going to be following the exact same principles as before. We're going to be coming in nice and smooth. I'm going to add a bit of trim this time because it feels like I'm sort of pulling back a little bit more than I should. I'm going to add some trim, add about 10, 10% trim, which will make it a bit easier to sort of flare, land, and use the ground effect to our advantage when we come down. Some people tend to cut the throttle too early, and it's essential that you don't do that. In fact, I sometimes cut the throttle too late just to ensure that the plane floats and glides so that it greases the surface of the runway and doesn't slam down into it. So I'll, I'll sort of demonstrate that on this landing. Uh, I'll, I'll be quiet and, and I'll let you watch. 100 50 40 30 20 10 So although that was a little bit late, we did make it within the touchdown markers, which makes it a successful landing. And as you can see, it was nice and smooth. So the ground effect um, within Infinite Flight, and it's the same thing in uh, real life, basically, um, the closer you come to the ground, um, the airflow over the wings and uh, the vortex is being generated on the end of the wingtips, etc., etc., they, they create essentially a bubble uh, on the runway. Um, which makes the plane want to float and sort of glide and that's why you know you see some pilots float uh, or sometimes when you're trying to land the plane then floats and goes up a few feet because you know you're you're in that sort of ground effect sort of stage and my way of dealing with the ground effect uh, and do you know what ground effect is so useful if you try and land with another aircraft on infinite flight uh, a dated one which doesn't have ground effects it's so difficult i mean it's not it's not too challenging once you've been flying for a while but it, it is a challenge to try and land it smoothly because you have no sort of bubble no cushion as you land i'll switch the camera to my ipad now and i'll just show you like what i'm doing so we're coming down i've turned off the auto thrust and as you'll see in a minute the plane will try and float up by itself without me tilting the device just like that you see it floating up you want to sort of fight with that and you'll make the smoothest landing I can promise you it just takes practice and then once you're down use reverse thrust about 75% reverse thrust until you're about 70 knots add some brake if you want to with the rudder and once you're at about 70 knots um, I tend to uh, cut the power, add some brake, reduce my speed to about 30 to 25 knots so then I can exit the runway and contact ground on the taxiway. Now let's just say you're flying uh, on live. Um, at this point you would then turn your lights off. So once you've exited the runway you would then turn your landing and strobe lights off ready for your taxi to park in. You will then also reduce your flaps back to zero and turn off your um, speed brakes your spoilers at this point you get your clearance to taxi to park in from atc and that is a perfect landing that is how you land in infinite flight if you did find this video useful please 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 make sure you subscribe i'm giving away a free month of infinite flight live uh for 10,000 subscribers so the sooner we get there the sooner we can do that but until then i'll see you guys in the next video